So my talk tonight uh, examines art and community, and it will fluctuate between how art can comfort people and challenge people. It will also fluctuate between the local and the national. I begin here at the Beaverbrook Art Gallery, and I'll take you on a circuitous route across Canada in Fredericton, New Brunswick, where I began as head curator. One of the first shows that I did was by a local artist named Miller Britton, who was very well known from the 1950s, 1960s. He was a bomb aimer in the Second World War, and upon his return to uh, St. John's, he began a very uh, serious look at religious-based work. And some of the works that we have for a show like this one, we took right from the altar of a, of a small Catholic church, and you can see part of our role at the Beaverbrook was to repair these works. Off against the challenging works is a work by a national known artist, Richard Attila Lukash, a piece called In My Father's House. Uh, you can see the homoerotic overtones of this off against the Christian subject matter. This fellow was often described as in full anal flaunt. Um, at the same time that this painting went up in the lobby of the Beaverbrook Art Gallery, the mayor of uh, Fredericton denied the local gay and lesbian association a declaration of a day, a very standard thing. And uh, the newspapers read, Gallery Moons the Mayor. Now we move to the South Okanagan Valley. Uh, the Art Gallery of South and Okanagan, where they had a new roundabout just near the gallery down on a redeveloped waterfront. And they had a place for a sculpture. They wanted to do a permanent piece. I suggested as director that we do a temporary work, and the work that went up was by Michael Hermesh called The Baggage Handler. This fellow caused quite a rise, if I can say that, in the local community. And I was quoted on CBC saying, is any new penis ever safe in the South Okanagan? <laughs> Back to comfort. A work by uh, um, Percival Ritchie, who was a, a very long-standing member of the art community here, a scene from the Okanagan Valley. And again, this was a memorial to Percival, who she had died recently. I got to meet her husband, go through their whole house and look at what she had done over the course of her career and it was really a tribute to her uh, contri contribution to the community. Now we're fly to Montreal, Quebec, and my work as an art consultant for Osler Hoskin Harcourt, a corporate finance law firm in the 21st, 22nd, 23rd, and now 24th floor. To fill their offices with a variety of works of art, this work by James Leahy, very standard work in the boardroom. Uh, landscapes, and again, a comforting effort for people meeting in this space. Off against comfort, a new s stairwell space that they took over, hired a South Okanagan artist who created a piece called Flourish. Their biggest concern was, what is the liability of installing this piece in a stairwell? They're all corporate lawyers, of course. This piece is actually 3,000 hand-cut butterflies that are photocopied onto mylar. The staff at the, uh, at the uh, corporate office was just fascinated by this piece and it really uplifted their experience. Again, back to another boardroom with uh, Nicolas Bayer, who's a local Montreal artist. This piece called Tapis, which is in fact uh, repeated keyboards from a variety of uh, computers over a course of 10 years. Now we zip back to Ontario. This is the art gallery of Peterborough with a very drab, like, sort of bomb shelter uh, uh, backside onto Little Lake. And I hired a local artist who was a graduate of the Art the College of Ontario to do that piece. Also, other things that we did, we had a film and music series, experimental film and music, that we projected up on the side of the gallery and had people hanging around the outside on the evening for what was called the Festival of Darkness. Bringing in back to the national, uh, we had an internationally known artist from Montreal, Trevor Gould, who a lot of his works deals with the methodology of zoos and how we contain information, how we, we group knowledge. And essentially, Peterborough has one of the best zoos in Ontario, and he took these animals from the zoo and put them directly on the walls. Here we have a man entering an internal investigation of one of the local giraffes. Again, the the artist who made the uh, painting on the back of the gallery, April Steele, an OAC grad, part of a performance piece, literally a, uh, a goat coming out of her back. So these are the things that we can do to challenge and comfort communities 
and how art can play a role in the community. Thank you.